received a box in the mail today. That's what I'm waiting for. A little banged up from China. Uh, open it up. See what it is. Hello. And so where's the cutting device? Cut, uh, the box has already been cut open. What? It's already been cut open. This is our new dog. Rat face. We all both know that's not his name. So I just want to geek out a second on this box because it's the strangest box I've ever seen. It has on the top here, or if you want to call it top, a tuck, a front tuck. And that would be like a, an ear, a front tuck with an ear. But the bottom of the box is what they call an FOL, a full overlap. It's really weird because the box ends should be the same. I've never seen a box like this. Anyhow, this little packaging box uh, trivia for you guys. Sorry guys if like this uh, this just like I'm uh, disturbed from the uh, unboxing. I'm like a little baby, you know, you give them a gift and I start playing with the box. Uh, what do we have? It looks like boomerangs. Boomerangs. <laughs> or, well, hockey pucks. Or hockey, uh, hockey sticks. Okay, what we have here is a takedown horse bow that I purchased on eBay. Is, is that what they really call this? Oh. Yeah, kind of. Takedown horse bow, takedown Asiatic bow. So, comes with the string. And I'm going to unwrap the riser. It's got two limbs. Sears on the end. Forty five. Forty five. Looks like these are identical from the top to bottom. It's two of the same. You having trouble there? Uh, no, I got this. <laughs> Edit my struggle out. Edit your struggle out, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we got our little riser. This little, wow, this little thing taped around it. It looks like it was just ripped. Not even cut nicely. And it's not on there in the dust. I might have, yeah, this is coming off. I think what is this? <laughs> That's absolute I, rubbish right there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed <laughs> to be where the, uh, the arrow goes. I know, but I'm saying how it's attached and the quality of it is really... <sighs> Come on. You could do a way better job than that. Kind of scaly. But it's not even on there. It's not even, like, glued on there. You could see it separating. I mean, it, it's kind of hard to move around. Yeah, it shouldn't move around, is what I'm saying. Okay, it's a cold December day. Take down bow all put together. I got rid of that rubbish arrow pass piece of whatever stripe plate you want to call it. Placed it with this little piece of bear hair fur. Put a little knocking point on there, temporary.
Okay, take down horse bow. Give me another shot. Started feeling good towards the end. Got the hang of it. I like it. I like it for the dollar value, for, for the money's worth. It's great. We'll discuss those details later. Uh, not bad. No. And I was shooting back at like from 15, going back to almost 20 yards. According to the description on eBay, the bow was made of locust wood which I imagine is the riser handle or the sears. Uh, it gives a total bow length at 54 inches, string length at 51 inches. It was designed by a famous archery crafter. It's a fast shooting bow, high quality. That's what they tell you. No other information about the manufacturer or supplier. I mean, it's just some dude in his garage pumping these out. <laughs> so I paid $67, approximately $67. Um, it was the, in Australian dollars, it was like $94. So that, it's, it's weird. Like on eBay, um, it's, it's also listed in the US dollars and that's like 80 dollars or 80. So, and, and if you go on that listing, you know, if you scroll down, and like more items like this, you'll see another exact, you know, almost exact listing and it'll be priced at $67 US. You click on it and it shows you the American, I mean, Australian dollars at like $94 or something, but you just look at the little subprint underneath and it's like $67 or so. So yeah, like, and they're coming from the same place, you know, right in China, um, same bow. So yeah, uh, $67, yeah. I, definitely worth $67. I probably, I probably would have paid 80 for it as well, you know, but you know, don't, if you don't have to get it for 67, not for 80. Remember that, you know, um, you want to buy
by the Australian one that's listed in Australian dollars right now. It's like the exchange rate. Uh, so I'm doing American dollars versus Australian dollars.